Hi guys, Shelly Fitzgerald, SoShelly.com. I want to show you a great little trick. I'm in the Bernina version 9 software in the creator level. And I'm going to come in to the rectangle tool in the digitized toolbox. I'm going to make sure that I'm using an outline and I'm going to choose a pretty color. I'm going to choose 33. I love that. And I'm just going to create a rectangle. I'm going to push escape and zero so that I can see it. I'll click on the rectangle in the color film and I'll unlock the little proportional scaling. And I've decided I want that to be eight wide and two and a half watt tall. I may change that again because I'm going to put some lettering in there, but that's a good start. I'm going to create some knockdown stitches so that when I put this on a towel, I could do two things. I could either use this and create a cut file and put a piece of fabric and then put these stitches over the top of the fabric or just put these stitches directly on the toweling. So in fact, while it looks like this, I have the outline. Let's just start with the cut file. So I'm opening the applique toolbox and I'm just going to say export a cutting file. So that's how I would do that. I'm going to cancel and I want to create the background. So that would give me a placement line right here. I'm going to copy and paste and I'll make this one a new color and I'm going to change this one to a fill. And I want to use a pattern fill. So down at the bottom here, I'm going to right click on pattern fill, which not only filled the design, but it opened the object properties so that I can come in and choose a different design. I want something different. I'd like to see those in true view. So I'm going to click on show in true view. This will be in NP004. Down here, K0021A. And I'm going to say OK and apply. Now that puts this all over the back. It works great if I have a piece of fabric, it would hold that fabric down. Or if I didn't have fabric and I just wanted that toweling held down. So all of these different shapes you could try. There's a lot of them. I don't want it quite this dense. So I'm just going to come in and double the size of all these numbers. So I'll make these 448 and this one 224. I'm just doubling what's already there. 448, 224, and apply. And that's the spacing I prefer. I'm going to select this single outline and paste it again. So there is the last version of it. And I'm going to make that a satin stitch. And that way I have a nice outline. So on my towel, I have a placement line that I could put a piece of fabric. I don't have to. And then I have this stitching that I would put over the fabric, even if I had put the fabric on or just over the toweling and then the outline. Now, the last thing I want to put in is some lettering. So I will open the lettering and I'm going to right click on the word lettering, which opens the object properties. And I'm just going to put in soshelly.com. And I would like this Eliza. Now it shows you how big these can be 1.38, 2.17. I'm going to put that at 1.5. I have no idea if this will fit or not. We'll just see. Say OK. And then I have to click on the screen. I think the first thing I'll do while it is still selected is change the color again. There we go. Way too big, but I'll just use these sizing handles. If I hold the shift key, it sizes it from the center out. Or I could have some towels with my 
logo on them or with my name on them. Now, I think this rectangle could be shorter and fit nicer. So I'm going to select the first one, hold the control, the second one, the third one. And while they're all selected, I'm just going to make it shorter. And then while they're still selected, I'm going to right click and group them together. And then I'm going to also select the name. So I will hold control and select that too. I'm going to hit arrange and align the centers. So now that's aligned left and right, top and bottom. I have a online software course, Software with Shelley 2024. And this is the kind of content only in more detail that you would find over there. And I hope you would consider joining me. We will have 10 months of lessons, 10 months of live help sessions, and a community where you can get help almost instantly all the time. And that community, I think, will be one of the strongest parts of the whole thing. So I sure hope you consider coming on over and signing up. Just head over to SoShelly.com and we'll see you over there. Bye for now.